Identify, and I am back with my top 10 iPad apps. So, to start this off, I'm basically just going to be telling you guys my top 10 apps, and I'm going to give you a quick little demo slash preview of the point of the game, what it's uses for, etc. So, for number 10, number 10 I have nightstand. This is pretty useful for me. I don't have a head uh, nightstand clock. So what I do is I download this app free off the app store. Hope this will camera will focus. But it's nightstand. It has the time, uh, the date, May, right now as I'm shooting this video, May 10th. And it has the weather. So yeah, that's number 10, nightstand. Uh, number 9, I have Cut the Rope. It's a really fun game. Basically what you do, uh, you require to have this this way for this game. Um, so basically what you do, let me turn off the sound real fast one second, sorry guys. Basically what you do is there is, let's go to the first level. There is this little cookie monster, or whatever, he likes candy, a candy monster. Uh, and he's right here, he looks like this. And you basically have a knife at your fingertips. And this is the candy you want to get to this monster's, uh, his name is an Omnom. And you want to deliver the candy to the Omnom while getting all three stars if you want the highest score. You're able to go past it without any stars, two stars, three stars, one star. doesn't really matter, but if you want to actually beat the game, you'd have to get all three stars on all the levels. So basically what you do is you cut this rope. That's why it's called cut the rope. You cut it, and the candy drops into the Omnom's mouth, which is pretty fun for me. Uh, it's pretty fun kind of addicting. So, as you can see here, now there's three ropes. This has multi-touch, too, in many of the higher levels. So, basically, if I want to get into the Omnom's face, I cut it, and it's still not in the correct position for him. So, I cut it again, and now it's just open, and it goes right into his mouth. So, that is cut the rope. I see I only got two stars there. You're able to do it differently to get all three, but this is just for demo purposes. Uh, so now, on to, let me switch this back around, my uh, eighth app. This is actually pretty addicting. It's called Ninjump HD because it's for the iPad. No, I do not want these awesome features. Thank you, Open Faint. Uh, so, this is Ninja Jump. Basically, what you do is you're this little ninja running up, and there's little obstacles that you have to be going across. You're able to cut these birds in half, kind of funny, you're able to go into these blades, but you cannot be hit by them. And depending on if you get three of these animals in a row, you'll turn into that animal and get really higher in the game. So the point is to get the highest score. My score is going up as I'm going up. You're able to get force fields, and it's pretty addicting. You're basically just trying to get to the highest of this tower. You're able to buy uh, different packs, have different themes to them. The original one has always been my favorite. It's really fun, really addicting. Uh, it's just a fun game to play. As you can see right now, I'm at 1,546. Just got hit by a, by a ninja, uh, what's a, what is it called? A ninja star. And I fell, so I died. I'm able to play it again. Really addicting. As you can see, my best is 4877, 4877. Send me a picture or a video update or a video response or some comment of what your best score is. Let's see if we can have a face off here. But um, going on, let me flip this back over. This is getting really annoying. Sorry, guys. Pretty annoying now. Okay. Um, Angry Birds. I only have the Rio version because it was free. I have it on my iPad, I mean on my iPhone, but right now I just have Rio HD on this one. So basically what you're doing with Angry Birds, I bet everyone in this whole entire world knows what Angry Birds is, who owns an iPhone or iPod Touch or iPad, but you basically are flinging these different birds at, to save, to kill pigs in the original one, the real one is just to save other birds. But here I'm just going to fling a bird up into the air. This one is a multi-bird, so it's going up, I press it, and it splits into three. Your basic idea is to just break all these birds out of their cages, and yet in the original, it's to 
kill all the bad pigs. So basically you just tap and it spreads and it just smashes down all these other cages or in the other one pigs as I said many times. Uh, so yeah you just launch birds and you press it to open it up on certain birds. Some birds can like drop bombs, some birds can turn into bombs and explode. So yeah it's a pretty fun game. So yes okay number I think we're on seven I think. Wow I'm smart I'm good at keeping track. Okay, that was 10, 9, eight. okay, now number 6, Tiny Wings. This is actually just for the iPhone right now. I'm just u using the times 2 thingamabobber that they have. Uh, so basically what this game is, is you're this teeny bird that's so fat that it can't fly. And basically what you're trying to do is you have these hills. When you tap on the screen, the bird will make itself extra heavy and fall down and roll on these hills. So the whole point of the game is to go as far as you can from the night sky. And you'll have a little meter on the bottom corner right here. So basically, let's go through a little demo. You touch for sunrise, and then my bird will start trying to jump in the air. Too fat, can't fly. And this is the little meter. It'll turn into daytime once I start, and then you're trying to run away from the night. So we're going to touch for sunrise, jump up, and get fat and fly up, and then get fat and fly up. And the whole point, oh, see, that's a problem. You have to be, you have to time it correctly. Again, I'm so bad at this. Sorry, I'm trying to look through it through my camera. And basically, you get, you get heavier, you fall down, you're trying to get these little, uh, little stars I think that no little like sun circles or whatever they're called uh, and that's another way of getting points but the main way is to just stay alive for a certain amount of time see I'm not even jumping it's just my score keeps going and then I'm just gonna stop here for purposes of this video I'm just gonna go very slowly hopefully this will go to nighttime and you guys can see what will happen see this meter is moving right now once it becomes fully nighttime then it's gonna become a problem and you guys are gonna see what is gonna happen and that's a problem okay but usually you will basically it'll become nighttime and night will take over you and you'll have to go to sleep again and you'll have to play again so yeah that's tiny wings Okay, so now, um, next, GarageBand. This is just for iPad now. Thank you. Uh, just for iPad for now. Let me fix up my, uh, my smart cover. One second. Enjoy my car. Go on to GarageBand. I'm able to play different, uh, music. I'm able to sing into this. If you guys want to hear my beautiful singing, well, it isn't gonna happen. Uh, I'm able to play different digital instruments. I'm able to play... Say smart bass. I know to play different chords. I can play a bunch of different instruments. So that's GarageBand. I'm running out of time, so I'm trying to rush now. I have 50 seconds. Now we have uh, Keynote. It's basically like Keynote on the Mac. Uh, it works really well. You're able to do animations, all that kind of stuff, and you're able to transport it to the Mac, which is really cool. Uh, yeah, so you basically can go through all your slides. Uh, this is one about my presentation of Harry Potter, J.K. Rowling. Um, there's pages, exact same thing, but it's, uh, but it's on the iPad. You're able to type, simple, like this. This is my, uh, letter that I wrote. Um, Fruit Ninja, number two. This basically allows you... It's just a fun game. You have a knife, you're able to get different types of blades, and you just slash up the fruit, and the more fruit that you slash, the more uh, points you get. They have many different modes. And then last, but definitely not least, my number one game, not game actually, it's Time Warner Cable TV. I showed this to you guys on the iPad review. It's amazing. Free of charge, if you have Wi-Fi, you're able to watch live TV. It's crazy good, and I would definitely recommend this. It's a free download.